What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to me rating the Walking Dead characters that I currently know. Um, I know some of them are going to be missing, for example, Rosita and Tara, I could not find them on this list. Uh, my eyes are just too weak to see these small characters all the way down here, like, uh, so my apologies. Um, I'll try and find them a little bit later, uh, and then maybe I'll <coughs> edit them in, but that's just a possibility. So I'm currently on Season 6. But I do know of more season 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 characters. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, we're starting off strong here, kind of. We got Dawn. Um, Dawn was in, uh, let's see, I think it was season 5. Um, she was in pretty much the middle part when um, she forced her officers to um, bring Beth back to the hospital. And, uh, Beth overall as a character, uh, she's, she starts off as pretty bad, you know, we, we don't really like, uh, we don't really like Dawn, uh, forcing everybody to do things, uh, smacking people, I, I know she, like, hit Beth twice, I believe, um, so yeah, and then obviously in season five, I think episode nine, Coda, um, she accidentally shoots Beth in the head, killing her. We love it, uh, but anyways, I don't think Dawn is a very good character. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't say she's bad, but she's kind of bad. So we're just gonna chuck her in bad character. Next up, we have Ron Anderson. Um, now, obviously, we didn't see much of Ron in season five when Rick and his group got to Alexandria, but and I know in season six so far, uh, Ron is not the biggest fan of uh rick and his group mostly rick because after he killed his father um but ron is not uh, I, don't, I don't really like ron honestly but i think his character is okay i mean i'm just gonna put him in mid i do know he dies though next up we have uh bob um i loved bob uh i i was it was terrible what happened to him in the food pantry when they found uh father gabriel uh, and then when the, um, Terminus group took him after their, like, for their revenge and ate his leg, um, but actually he was bit, um, later revealed in that episode, so, uh, the Terminus group was then infected because they ate his leg. Oh my god, we love The Walking Dead, but overall, Bob is a great character, I think he's funny, I think he's good for the group, I'm gonna put him in a, I'm gonna put him in a great character. Next up, we have Dr. Jenner uh, from Season 1. Um, we didn't really see him until the last two episodes. Um, <sighs> Dr. Jenner, I don't really have an opinion about him. He's only there. He explains to Rick and his group what the like what the infection was and all that. So, I'm just going to put him in mid. Next up, we have uh, who is that? Uh, Olivia. Okay, Olivia. Uh, season 5 and 6. Alexandria resident. I know she gets shot, I believe, in season seven. But Olivia is like we 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 barely see her. She's like what the the pantry girl. The she doesn't really fit into Alexandria. She's not a very good character. I don't really like her. Next up, we have Jackie, season one. Uh, we didn't same with Olivia. We didn't really see Jackie a lot. But definitely way better than Olivia. I just find Jackie is a more interesting character. Uh, so I think Jackie's going to go into mid. Next up we have Aaron. Uh, Aaron is um, Aaron is a pretty good character. You know, wanting to find Glenn uh, in Season 6 when he went missing with um, Nicholas. Um, I just find Aaron a pretty good character overall. I mean, he's just... He doesn't really... I mean so far, I guess. I'm up to season six, but I think he's a pretty good character. He has all the characteristics and stuff like that. Next up we have uh Andrea's sister. I kinda forgot her name. Uh we didn't really see much of her. Uh so yeah. Next up we have Tyrese. I Tyrese is a great character. I don't know if people agree. I mean I'm sure like a lot of people do, but Tyrese overall is just a great character. I love his I love his storyline, how he helped Carol and the two girls. I forgot their names. I'm going to have to freshen myself up before we get to them. Um, I love how he, like, always puts him, uh, others before himself, you know. Um, I, yeah, he's just a great character. I'm going to put him in, uh, or insane character. 
Oh, yes, this ad is going off. Let me just mute that. Oh, God. Next up, we have Andrea. Uh, I don't really know what to say. Except for she's a wire they hear character. Next up, we have Herschel Ree. Uh, this is the offspring of Glenn and Maggie. Uh, I haven't really seen. I don't. I haven't seen Herschel yet, but I know as of right now that Maggie is pregnant. Um, so currently, I'm sure he'll be a great character. But for now, I'm just gonna put him in mid because I really don't know much about him. All right. Next up, we have Maggie. Uh, so far, Maggie has been a pretty, uh, pretty good character. She hasn't really done much yet in season six. Uh, same at the end of season five. She was mostly hanging out with um, Deanna, being her like right hand man. She didn't really ha like play a role in the end of season five, but um, seasons three and four, it was pretty much when she was peak, um, helping out at the prison. I think Maggie's a great character along with Bob. Next up, we have Lori. Um, Lori, there's a lot of things about her that could go both ways. She's a pretty, she, she's a pretty good mom, I guess. Uh, as a wife, she's not very good, uh, as we know from sleeping with Shane while Rick was in the hospital, even though she didn't know. But really, guys, would you sleep with someone else? Like, <laughs> I don't know, but uh, she's a pretty terrible character. I do not. I'm not a fan of Lori, although hers, although her death was really sad. Next up, we have uh, the new surgeon girl. I forgot her name, uh, but she's pretty mid. <laughs> I forgot her name. All right. Next up, we have Judith. Uh, I'm a fan of Judith um, as the baby right now. Uh, I know later on in the later seasons and in um, The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, she uh, is pretty good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to put her in a great character because I think she has a lot of potential for future uh, seasons. Next up we have Michonne Hawthorne slash Grimes. Yes, I know that her and Rick and married. Michonne is a great character. I think um, she has played a role in pretty much every season so far. Um, who knows, maybe she won't in later seasons, but Michonne has just that. I like her sword. Her sword is pretty cool. I like her character a lot. I think she's an insane character up there with, uh, Tyrese. Next up we have Merle. Uh, I didn't really like Merle in the beginning seasons, up until he made his reappearance in season four when he was, uh, working with the governor. Uh, yeah, uh, his death was really sad, too, when Daryl found his walker, uh, found Merle as a walker. Uh, pretty, I think Merle is actually a pretty good character up there with Aaron. Um, so yeah. Next up we have Eastman. Uh, I just watched this episode, um, the hour-long episode, when Eastman, um, brings Morgan back to his senses. Um, I think Eastman is a pretty good character. He, uh, knows the Aikido or whatever it's called. I forgot. I'm gonna have to... I Gudo, I forgot, but um, he's a really good character, bringing Morgan back to his senses. I don't know if Morgan has an impact later on this uh, in the show, but um, I think it's a good thing that Eastman brought Morgan back to his senses to go to Alexandria. I think he's a, I think he's a pretty good character. <laughs> Next up, we have Abraham. I love Abraham. Abraham is a really funny guy. Um, so far. Uh, he's played a pretty big role in Alexandria, I think, with the uh, with like the building, got the construction team. Oh my gosh, Ugh, my bad. Um, oh, and yeah, Abraham just all around, pretty funny, pretty strong. Um, trusts Rick and his group. Um, I think he's an insane character up with uh, Tyrese and Michonne. Next up, we have Jesus. I don't know much about Jesus right now, but I do know. I think he's a pretty influential character on the group, so I'm just going to put him in mid. Next up, we have Carl Grimes. Carl has been there since the beginning. I do know he dies later in the show. Um, I think it's pretty cool that his eye got shot out, actually. I think it makes his character more badass, but um, whatever. Um, Carl, uh, around, just pretty good shooter. Um, has a good relationship with Rick, obviously. Um... I know people diss on Carl a lot, but I think he's a great character up there with uh, these guys. Next up, we have Herschel. I love Herschel. Herschel's a great... Uh, I think he was a great addition to the show. Um, when he was first introduced in Season 2, when he helped Carl after he got shot, 
and I'm surprised he stuck around after what happened to his farm. Um, but uh, later on, we know that he is really good for the uh, Rick's group and the prison when he helps the group get through the the influenza pandemic that went up inside the prison. Um, he really trusts Rick. He loves Glenn as Maggie's lover and all that. Uh, Herschel overall, insane character. Next up, we have this guy. I forgot his name. Uh, I know he was in season one, but then he left. Next up, we have Otis. I think this is Otis. I, I just found it. And I was like, oh, this looks like Otis. Um, I liked Otis after saving um, Carl, kind of, a little bit after shooting him. Uh, I just didn't like how he died, how Shane left him for dead. I mean, and he, I think Otis could have had way more potential for the show. I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to put him in mid. Next up, we have Dale. Uh, I wasn't really a big fan of Dale in season one, and then I think in season two, he was redeemed a little bit. Um, but even then, Dale is like... <sighs> oh my gosh. I keep yawning. I'm sorry, guys. Dale is like, like the dad of the group, I guess, to Andrea, especially Andrea. I just... Uh, I don't really like him that much. All right, next up, we have Lizzie. Uh, I... I liked Lizzie more than Mika at first, and then after what she did to her sister, absolutely broke my heart. I don't I, She's just a... No. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, next up we have the GOAT, Carol. She, I know she is in all 11 seasons. She has her own spinoff, I think, The Book of Carol, um, and then the Daryl Dixon series. Carol is just a great character. Um, although in season one, I didn't really like her after, uh, cause she wasn't really there, right? You know, Ed was kind of blocking her from her potential. And then she became this total badass character. She's just an insane character. Uh, next up we have Aiden or Spencer. I don't really know which one it is, but I know they're, uh, I, I like the Aiden and Spencer, the offspring of Deanna and Reg. Um, I didn't really like them at first after what they did. Uh, at the <sighs> in the first run when they went on with Glenn, um, Tara, Eugene, and Noah, but I think they're pretty good. Next up, we have Jim. Um, Jim's character was definitely a little bit interesting when he was digging that random grave thing in season one. Um, it was just really weird. Jim, his death was really sad though. Uh, but overall, I think he was just a pretty mid character. Next up, we have Reg, the man, the myth, the legend, who helped Alexandria without uh, the walls there. Uh, Alexandria would definitely not be standing. Uh, I think Reg was a pretty good character. I mean, his death was really sad when um, uh, when Jesse's husband, I forgot his name, uh, murdered him. Um, but I think he was a pretty good character. I mean, I think most people would say he's mid, but I think he's a pretty good character. All right, next up we have Milton Mamet. I think that's his name. I just had to look it up on the Wikipedia because I can't remember half these guys' names. Um, I know that Milton Mamet was the um, the doctor slash kind of scientist for um, the governor's little place. I forgot what that's called, too. Um, I'm sure it'll come back to me in a little bit, but I think Milton was... I think he was all right. I think he was just all right. We're going to put him in mid. Next up, we have Mika. I loved Mika. Um, Mika was a pretty good character. Um, her, like, attitude and stuff was good when she was trying to cheer up Lizzie. I think she was a pretty good character. Next up, we have RJ. Um, I have no idea about RJ right now. Uh, I know he's in The Ones Who Live, and I think that's it. Um, Rick and Michonne's offspring, but I'm just going to put him in mid for now. All right, next up we have Sophia. Uh, she was only in, like, what, one and a half seasons. She was pretty much missing for the entire, well, she was presumed missing for half of season two um, when Daryl and the others looked for her for pretty much half the season and just for her to be a walker. I think it was pretty dumb how they did that. I didn't like how they spent all this time looking for her and then she came out to be a walker, but I guess that's what probably would have happened. Um, had the show been in real life, but I didn't really like Sophia. She's not a terrible character. She's not bad either, but I just think she doesn't deserve mid. Because all these other characters are better than Sophia. 
Next up we have, oh my gosh, next up we have Rick Grimes. I don't really need to say anything. He's main character of the show. He's led the Atlanta group, the prison group, and Alexandria to success, pretty much. Um, I just, I don't really have to say anything about Rick. Same with Daryl. Daryl Daryl is, what, Rick's, like, best friend pretty much through the apocalypse. Rick and Daryl trust each other. They're like brothers, as they said. Um, those two just have great chemistry with each other and are definitely in the insane character list. Next up, we have Deanna Monroe. Uh, Deanna is um, definitely interesting. When we first see her in Season uh, 5, when the group gets to Alexandria, I didn't really like her. Um, but then I, I guess she's, I guess she's kind of starting to grow on me when she gave the leadership to Rick after Reg's death. Um, overall, Deanna isn't mid, but she's not a pretty good character. I think she's just maybe top of mid, better than all these guys. Next up, we have Gabriel. Uh, I don't know why he doesn't have an eye right now, but um, I don't really like Gabriel. He was kind of an asswipe. Um to the group in Alexandria when he told Deanna that they couldn't be trusted. So maybe he gets a little bit better, but I just don't think, I think he's bottom of mid. Alright, next up we have Enid, uh, Carl's girlfriend, I believe, later in season 6 slash 7. I'm not sure. But, um, Enid doesn't really have a role quite yet. Um, I guess she's a pretty good character, but uh, we just haven't seen much of her quite yet. Uh, so yeah. Next up we have Ed. Sorry. Alright, next up we have Heath. Uh, he's the new addition to Season 6. Um, I haven't seen much of him yet, but I know he's not terrible. I don't know if he dies or not. That's actually the one character whose fate I do not know. Um, but overall, I think right now he's been a pretty good character. Uh, he could be a villain, and I don't know about it, but he's pretty good so far. <laughs> Next up, we have Sasha. Um, Sasha has been here since season three, I believe, when she first showed up to um, the governor's town with Tyrese and uh, the others. Uh, Sasha is actually um, one of the good characters I like. You know, she... It's good with guns. She lost both Bob and Tyrese, unfortunately. Um, but I think her and Abraham have started a relationship. I forgot. But Sasha is a great character. Um, yeah. Next up we have Negan Smith. I know Negan is, wow, definitely an antagonist at the end of season 6, 7, and um, further into the show. I haven't seen Negan yet, but I know a lot of people like him, and I think I'll like him too. Even though he does kill Glenn and Abraham, unfortunately, I do know that. Um, so yeah, but Negan is—I think he's an insane character, I and mean, I think I'll—I think I'll believe this when he starts to be in the show. Next up, we have Shane. Uh, I think Shane was a great character. I, however, did not like how he was a villain and he wanted to kill Rick, kinda, towards the end of season one and uh, into season two. Uh, but overall, Shane is not bad. I think he's a pretty good character. Next up, we have the Governor. The Governor is a great villain. One of the top two villains, I think, um, in the show currently. Maybe top three, actually. But um, the Governor's villain arc was just really good. I like how he just kind of led the assaults on the prison and all that. I think the the Governor as a villain uh, is a great character, although as a person, he'd definitely be like terrible. All right, next up we have Nicholas. Uh, Nicholas let Noah die, which I do not like, and I will never forgive him for it. But then he kind of redeemed himself in season six when he started to um, be a little bit better. But I do know he dies because um, I just watched the episode where he uh, kills himself. Um, he's not very good, um, but he's not terrible, but I'm still going to put him in bad character. Next up we have Beth. Um, definitely... Not better than Maggie as a character, but Beth is not bad either. I know she her fate was unfortunate in the hospital, but I know um, I liked Beth and Daryl's story after uh, what happened at the prison, uh, how they were kind of together. Um, overall, I think Beth is a pretty good character, better than these guys. Some of you might disagree, but who the f***? All right, next up we have... N who 
who is this? Noah? Yes, Noah. Wait, is that Noah? I can't tell. It is Noah. Okay, Jesus, sorry. Um, I did not like his death. I love Noah. Noah could have been way better. Um, not way better, sorry. He could have been, like, in way more episodes. I think his character was great. He had insane potential. Um, but overall, Noah is a great character. He's not insane, but he is definitely top of great, pretty much on the brink of insane character. Next up, we have Gareth. Uh, Gareth is a pretty good villain. He's only in, like, what, three episodes at Terminus, but he's not very good at all. He's a pretty terrible character. Next up, we have T-Dog. Um, T-Dog's death was unfortunate in the prison, but he did save Carol, um, which is pretty good, and I don't really need to say anything else about T-Dog. He's a, he's a pretty great character. Alright, next up we have Sam. Uh, I know Sam unfortunately dies when Alexandria is overrun by the walkers. Uh, but Sam, uh, he's just, he's he's kind of mid, honestly. He doesn't really do anything. Uh, he does tell Carol that Jesse's husband is beating her, which I guess kind of saved it a little bit. But, you know, Sam is pretty mid. Next up we have Eugene. I like Eugene. I know Eugene does last. I think all. Um, I think he does last till season eleven. Um, I think he actually a lot of people like him. I don't know why you guys like him so much. Uh, I think he's pretty good, but that's pretty much all. I think that's all he deserves. Currently, my my opinion might change later on. All right, next up we have Glenn. Um, I don't think I have to say anything about Glenn either. Glenn is a great character. He lasted season one to season seven. I I, don't, I guess not season seven, right? Because he died. But um, Glenn is just a great character. I love how he volunteers to go on all the runs. He's pretty much the best one at it. He knows what he's doing. Um, he knows how to evade walkers. He knows how to take care of walkers. It's just it's just great overall. He's just an insane character. Next up, we have this guy, um, the Whisperer guy from uh, Season 6. Um, he was the one who Morgan told the story about um, Eastman. Uh, but overall, uh, he's not very good. He's a pretty terrible character. All right, next up, we have Morgan Jones. Um, I think Morgan is a great character. Episode 1, uh, when he gives Rick his hospitality. Uh, I, uh, however, when he did kind of start to lose his mind in season three slash, uh, five, when he, I guess, on the flashback in season six, uh, he wasn't really up there. But now that Morgan is back in Alexandria, he kind of has his sense back and he's this non-violent, um, kind of philosophy. I think Morgan's a great character. He's definitely in the insane character list. Next up, we have this prisoner guy from season three. Three, season three, season four. I can't remember which one. I think it's season three. Um, but he is, uh, just yeah, no. And then I think, but yep. Last but not least, for um, these characters, at least, um, Gareth's partner. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up the tier list. Um, if you guys agree or disagree, just let me know down in the comments. Um, I'm also going to post this on Gaming Central, uh, because why not? It's about uh, zombies, and we do, we do Left 4 Dead content. But uh, anyways, if you guys um, enjoyed it, just uh, let me know. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.